we want to find the center and radius of the sphere given by the equation in standard form. If we were to graph this sphere in three dimensions, it would look like this. where this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is the z-axis. And since this is the positive x-axis, we can tell the center has a positive x-coordinate. This axis back here would be the negative y-axis, so the y-coordinate of the center would be negative, and this is the positive z-axis, so the z-coordinate of the center would be positive. More specifically, when we have an equation of a sphere in a standard form, which is this form here, the center has coordinates a, comma b, comma c, and the radius is equal to r. So looking at our equation, since we have the quantity x minus five squared, a, or the x coordinate would be positive five, because we have the quantity y plus three squared, b, or the y coordinate, would be negative three. Notice here, if we had y minus negative three, that would simplify to y plus three. And then because we have the quantity z minus two squared, c, or the z coordinate, is positive two, and because the right side is equal to sixteen, we know r squared equals sixteen. So if r squared equals sixteen, and we know r is always positive, we can take the square root or principal square root of both sides to find that r equals four. And therefore the center of the sphere has coordinates five, comma, negative three, comma, two, and the radius, or the length of the radius, equals four units. One thing to be careful about is making sure you have the correct sign for the coordinates of the center. Notice here we had x minus five, so the x coordinate was positive five. Here we had y plus three, the y coordinate was negative three, and we had z minus two, and the z coordinate was positive two. I hope you found this helpful.